AFN Bavaria, Radio News. I'm Army Sergeant Margaret Gabriel. The military-wide travel ban is being extended. Army Private First Class Kylie Bowling has more. The U.S. Defense Secretary Mark Esper announced the stop movement will continue through June 30th. The five-page memo released Monday states the ban is being reviewed every 15 days and could possibly be lifted early. The latest version provides more guidance for local commanders and outlines types of situations that could be considered as an exception for travel. Esper says he understands the impact this is having on service members and their families. However, due to COVID-19, it's necessary to keep everyone safe and the military ready. Friends and family watched from home as their loved ones graduated from the United States Air Force Academy on Saturday. Vice President Mike Pence was there in person to give the commencement address to the nearly 1,000 cadets graduating. The same strength and love of country that carried each of you to this day. And it is the strength that will carry our nation through these challenging times to be stronger than ever before. The scaled-down ceremony was held a month earlier than normal, and the graduates were seated approximately six feet apart. More than 36,000 people watched the presentation on the Internet. Class of 2020! The ceremony concluded with a tradition of the Air Force Thunderbirds flyover while cadets tossed their caps in the air. The Defense Department released a memo last Thursday allowing military members to accumulate more than 60 days of leave. The department recognizes the unique situation of COVID-19 and the impact of the military travel ban. Service members may save up to, but no more than 120 days of leave. They have until September 30th, 2023 to use those days. This applies to all six branches of the armed forces. I'm Army Sergeant Margaret Gabriel, AFN Bavaria, Radio News.